Hi, I'm going to walk you through your Age of Exploration research packet. Now, this is going to be what we're going to be working on for the next three in-class class days. And I'm going to walk you through this packet. On the front, you're going to see your table of contents. This walks you through and shows what's going on where inside of the packet. We'll see our page numbers located on the bottom. This is kind of stuff for me and the state and the principal. We go through these. These are the standards that I am helping you to learn in our time together. So this helps to show uh, our principal what's going on as well as to show me what we're learning. Let's flip it open and let's check out page two. Here we can see our Explore Capstone walkthrough. This shows us our standard and it's also the rubric that I'm gonna use. Right on the bottom here, you're gonna see that it has a learning target list and these learning targets are the way that you can get your credit. So to get a four, you'll see what you need to do. To get a two, you'll see what you need to do here. So this is the rubric that I'm gonna to use to score and grade your project. Flip it over. Now we're getting into the questions. We have two sections of questions here. The first talks about the explorations, where they were going, when they were going, what they were doing there. And we'll see that we have boxes for each of those sections. Right below, I have a section on the impact. I'm gonna have you take that, put it in a box, put it at the front of your mind. We're gonna talk about this in just a few moments time. Let's turn the page. Here I have just a section for additional notes. If you're like me and you write large, you might want to have some extra space to do some more writing. That's going to be right here. I've given you space to draw a rough map of your Explorer. We'll have a final map when we make our Explorer mobile, but this is going to be just a space where we can do our practice map. Then I have a section for us to list the books and the resources that you use. There are a lot of books going on all around the room, and it would be a bummer to come in on day two of our project work time and not know what book you were reading. So here I've given you some space and you can record the book that you're at so that the next time you're back in class, you can walk right in, bam, grab that book. You are all set. You don't have to spend time looking for your materials. Now remember that box that I had us make? Let's go ahead and unbox that from our mind, the explore boxes that helps us once you have those three boxes then we can get into our paragraph you're going to be doing a paragraph on your explorer with the knowledge that you gained from answering those three boxes at the start of our packet you're going to put that into sentence form i've given you an example sentence that you may look at that i did on the bottom you're able to go ahead and use that now, once again, this is probably kind of quick, and so you can use your instructions on the pages, but this will provide an overview. Here's our checklist. This will tell us what we're doing on all three of our class days and then what we do at home. So you can go through on day one, this is what we have to do, and then on day three, you can walk right in, grab your book, see what you're doing on day three, and ensure that you're all set to finish. Now we're getting into some future stuff. The gallery walk. This page we're going to use when we do a gallery walk and examine our friends' projects. So we won't be using this page yet. And then I, I kind of have a fake end to the packet, and it gets into the very last page, which I made as the last page. So when you get home, you can separate this one. This is a letter to parents and guardians explaining what we're doing in class. And it, has a link to look at our example project, as well as the dates that they're due. So when you go home, you may go ahead and pick, and you may separate, put this on your fridge, put it on a picture frame, hang it up, nice where everybody can see it. And then you have your packet of research and the material that we'll use when we're all done with our research. And that's the packet. 
Inside the packet, you'll find there's much more detailed instructions for each of those sections. We'll be walking through them in class. You can use the unit presentation as well. This is just providing an overview. So if we're ever not sure, we can go back and understand what we're up to. All right.